Ms. Marjorie Ann Bromhead, thank you very much for joining us tonight at SAIS. How do you define the relationship between environmental policy and economic development? Is there a trade-off or a synergy? Well, I would argue that there's a synergy. Uh, environmental degradation carries very heavy costs. Costs to health, costs to productivity, costs to cultural values. Countries move on a green growth agenda, they can grow fast, and they can grow clean at the same time. And to what extent can economic tools be used in green growth? They can be used to some extent. Um, normally we have three sets of economic of, of policy tools. The uh, economic instruments, the regulatory instruments, and social marketing instruments. Economic instruments include both um, uh, use of markets, taxation, and uh, fiscal incentives of various kinds. Often, however, there are political economy constraints in using uh, economic instruments. We all know of uh, social protests when there are attempts to reduce energy subsidies and people want to get elected uh, again, uh, so uh, they are very cautious about using uh, economic instruments. How do countries prioritize their green growth goals differently? Uh, is there a global set of priorities? I would say there's not a global set of priorities, there's a global set of principles. And the principles might be valuing human, social, physical and natural capital as well. They might be putting a lot of priority on efficiency, on innovation, uh, and on resilience. Those would be what I would call principles. But I think that the priorities will vary between countries. African countries, increasing energy access, uh, increasing transport access is a priority. So for African countries, it's likely to be developing infrastructure uh, and cities in a sustainable way, sustainable natural resource management and increasing resilience. Whereas for an OECD member country, it may be, or for an upper middle income country, there may be a focus on uh, decreasing water pollution, on setting aside green space for leisure, on decreasing the uh, global carbon footprint of, uh, of, 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 of economic activities. All right, Ms. Bromad, thank you very much for being here with us tonight. Thank you.